Hello Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Okay, this video follows on from one just before this one uh, that uh, talks about horizons and how our, our prism eyes work. So it might be worth popping back to look at that one first uh, because this skips over a few of those points. So um, this is, um, I've just kind of drawn out an image I saw recently where someone has taken a a zoom image of the sea and then uh, in the distance there's a, there was a, a windmill farm, a wind farm, but uh, the horizon had come up here in the middle and uh, they could just see the, the blades of the windmill sticking up above the horizon there. Okay, so this was like one of those zoomed in shots really far across the water. Now, of course, the debate there is, is that not because we're on a globe that uh, you just see these, you don't see the mast of the windmills? And uh, it may look like that, but of course, the first thing you notice is that if the windmill was beyond a curve, if it was that far away that it was beyond a curve, it would be much, much smaller and um, it would of course be tilting if it was following those rules of actually going beyond a curve but no that's what's strange about these photographs if you look at these photographs whether you're looking at a moon or the sun going down coming up rising okay if someone has zoomed in on the moon or the sun or the distant object uh, over a vast expanse of sea or land then we get this horizon created in the image, which again tries its best to reach the midway point. Okay, so that's what we get here. Okay, so let's just just uh, have a recap over here. See what happens. Now, this uh, this image was taken uh, on the on the video that I saw. It was taken with a with I think a an iPhone or something looking through the eyepiece of a telescope okay so this this kind of represents um, just how again just to remind us how we actually see whether it's a telescope or, or, or our own eyes this is how we would we would see uh, the horizon now this is without the telescope zoomed in as it were Okay, so what we have here is we have our, our eye level, and as before, we have, we have the field of view, which is the black lines, okay, which kind of boop, boop, we hit the water there, and that goes out there. But as we mentioned before, uh, you know, in our vision, the, whatever's in the distance has to eventually reach some horizon point in our eyes, the midpoint, okay? It doesn't, we don't just get this space forever, do we? we, we our eyes create a horizon point. Now, of course, it's very, very debatable how far that is. Now, this would happen on a flat or a globe Earth, right? This is not to do with the actual geographical shape, and uh, we can often, often represent it like this in a 2D way anyway, without worrying about any curve, because this is what happens in our eyes, okay? So what we have here is whatever is actually up here before and after the, 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 uh, the windmill here, and the same here, whatever's actually along here actually has to, in our vision, has to be angled up towards the horizon, you know, in, in the center of our vision, okay? So this red line represents, and with the black dots in between, represents what's, how we are seeing the sea that goes out that way, okay? And the sky that continues that way in our, in our block of sky that we can see, yeah, okay? All right, so again, whether you're on a flat or a round earth, uh, either way, that doesn't matter. What matters is that your, your vision is creating a horizon, squeezing the, the sky and the uh, land or sea into a specific point. Okay, so here it's at short range and it's not actually getting as far as the 
the windmill. Okay, so then we come down here where we see that the what we've done is is we've got the uh, a bit of a zoom going on, so it kind of ignores the foreground. Yeah, so that's what we're zooming. We're zooming in on this bit over here, so we we ignore the, the what we could previously see, and but then we still get this same expanding of our field of view to a certain point at which it would level out. But of course, we our eyes again or. Uh, the way we look at it has got to create this horizon over here. So what you can see happening is the sky is coming down towards the horizon and uh, the sea is coming up towards the horizon. So what of course we see in the two-dimensional image is this water coming up and almost like it's creating a wall and then a blind spot. You could imagine it would even be a trough. There would be you know, kind of just like a waterfall or something, it just drops off, you know. You can imagine it would it would look, that's what it looks like, yeah. Because it's not curvature, it's just this weird effect we get when we zoom in. And so here we go. So all this water that we can start seeing from here, back here we can't see any of this foreground. We can only start seeing the water once our field of view hits this point here. And then all the water between this point and the windmill has to fill up our vision. Yeah, has to kind of fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. Okay, so that's what it's doing here. Okay, and when it gets to the windmill, by that time, you see it's cut off the, the mast. We don't see this, this is in the, this blind spot, we just don't see this mast. It's, it's behind this horizon that's coming up now. Oops, just dropped something. Okay, so there we go, yeah. Simple as that, and the horizon may, is maybe just a little way beyond that. Okay, so that's why we get that effect. Nothing to do with the shape of the land. If it, you know, again, just to reiterate, flat or curved, it wouldn't make any difference. What's happening is the land or the sea in the distance has to come up to a midway point. Okay. Thank you very much.